guess, question for Brock. Uh, congratulations uh, to your left. Uh, congratulations uh, on your victory. Uh, first of all, can you talk about surviving the first round and, and what that was like? Uh, that left hook and maybe made you forget rest, the rest of it. Hurricane Katrina. Um, it was just... I think I got, you know, he hit me pretty good, and then I didn't know <clears throat> for a second, you know, I ended up on the ground, and I just had to go on survival mode and try to stay busy. I really have to thank the referee, you know, for, for allowing that thing to go on. Uh, I wasn't hurt. I thought if I just kept moving, I could feel Shane's slow, his punches slowly becoming less and less, and I thought, well, if I get out of here, and then I'm going to exert a bunch of energy, and, and um, I realized, you know, we were a short time left and, and just tried to stay busy, you know. He's a beast. He was, you know, um, he, was, he definitely won the first round. <laughs> and, and then I just want to ask you, uh, did you feel a difference in him? Like, in other words, did he feel different to you in the second round? Like, you know, like he did have left it all in, the, in there in the first well, I've been in them situations before. I think some of my pro wrestling days, you know, uh, prepares me for the ups and downs and, and kind of things. You know, <clears throat> I just don't get too emotionally attached to a certain round, you know. And I, I, we, we, we train for that in the gym. Um, there's certain things that you just are going to happen. you got no control over it. And, and it's whether or not if you just can can get out of there and, and, and do the right things to, to move on, you know. I knew that I lost the first round, but there were still four rounds left, and and I thought, well, uh, we're in a fight for sure now, you know. I mean, I thought, well, here we go. We're, you know, it's, I'm going to have to win this round for sure. Uh, Brock, uh, over to your right, just down here. Uh, where did that, uh, where did that submission come from? That, uh, that, that's something that from, uh, you really Caprito, haven't seen. From my, my jiu-jitsu coach, Caprito. Um, <clears throat> these guys are loyal to me, you know, I, and and I appreciate that. You know, they've stuck with me. Marty Morgan, Peter Welch, Eric Paulson, Caprito, you know, Luke Richardson. Peter, we brought Peter in, and I, I did not... Uh, show uh, very good boxing skills in the first round. We, did, we worked on a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, but uh, we got the W, you know. <clears throat> right away that you, you know, that, that you had it locked in or when, you know, just sort of that, that few seconds. Uh, well, ironically, it happened on the other side. We, I train, uh, we train mostly for the other side, and then it happened. I, it, it, it actually all went totally backwards into it, and uh, and so it was just one of those things where I had to jump to the other side, and, and then you know, and then I was where I needed to be. But it's just we, it just becomes uh, training, you know, part of second nature. You know, you gotta just react, I guess. You went to Mount. I was, to be honest with you, I was kind of surprised that you didn't, uh, you know, use a lot of ground and pound and hammer fist there. So when you went, did you see something in Shane Carwin's ground game? Uh, obviously, we haven't seen much of it at all. But did you, did you hear of anything that maybe would there would be a submission open? Would you be planning for that? We, uh, yeah, I, uh, we kind of suspected that he would be prepared for my ground and pound. So Caprito pointed this submission out that uh, listen. Uh, this is something that's very feasible for you to do. It's a, it's a wrestling, it's, you know, basically it's a headlock. Um, kind of the army. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I can't even pronounce it, but. <laughs> no, we just trained for it, and, and um, it, uh, it's, it's just great. It's great. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. This question is, uh, the first question is for uh, Brock up over here. To your uh, to your right. Um, earlier, in the, or in the run up to the fight, um, you said that it didn't really matter if the fans uh, booed or cheered. Did it, did it feel a little differently tonight to have uh, the fans embrace you kind of for the first time? As long as they're paying attention, I guess it's all good, you know. Um, I, I approached this fight a, a really differently, you know. I mean, it, it might have. 
lot of, uh, you know, we are we are entertaining people, you know, but this is this is a truly a sport. It's this is as real as it gets, obviously. And um, but uh, you gotta have a little fun while you're out there too, you know. What the hell? And uh, earlier you said that you wanted to thank the referee. Um, were you at all worried um, that it might have been stopped? Because looking out from the press row, it did look it looked pretty bad. Yeah, there was a time where I thought, you know, that. But he did come to me before the fight and said, you know, if you if there's, he says, heaven forbid, if uh, the fight gets ugly, and it, and somebody's getting uh, in a bad bad situation, you have to you have to show me something that you're that you're still staying alive down there. And so that just kept going through my mind. I gotta keep moving, you know. And, and I could feel Shane. Every punch just was less and less and less, and I thought. Well, if that I knew I, I, that I, the, the worst was was done. So uh, obviously, I mean, any win special, title win, great. But is the way you won this fight? Does it make it even more special? I mean, surviving through trouble in the first round, getting a submission, kind of showing your evolution as a fighter. Do you take any added uh, emphasis in that? Um, it's just great to win, you know. I Honest to God, I mean, from what I've been through since November 6 of 2009 up until this point, it feels like it's been 10 years. I mean, it's 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 been that. It's just it's been a grueling, grueling road. And I can say this. I mean, until somebody actually you know saw me laying there, Marty Morgan was by my my hospital bed uh, from day one. And saw me, you know, where I was, and to be here, it it really is truly a miracle. I mean, it is it, it, to come back from all that and to be here and to win. I words just cannot describe it. I really feel like I'm in a dream. What the past year would you been through? Uh, you, know, you were sick, you fought back, you overcame it, and you're coming back 100 uh, percent. And then tonight, you find yourself. In a similar situation, but in the cage this time, you're down and you have to fight back. Is this like a theme that's going on with you that you have to keep digging down and fighting back? Uh, uh, my last fight, I was, you know, it's it's been a roller coaster ride all over the place. But I did it, the thought crossed my mind when I was underneath there that I've been that I've been through a lot, and to weather that first round, uh, I thought to myself. This isn't how it's gonna end, you know. I, I gotta keep moving down here. He was strong on top. I'll give it. He, he outboxed me. He, he he got me, and I'll be the first one to tell everybody that, you know. That's just the way it is. Um, but yeah, it's been a crazy year. I've been through a lot, and I I wasn't going home without this thing. That's for sure tonight. Boxing the way you wanted to. I'm sure you're going to take a lot from this uh, this fight and look at the things you did wrong. Uh, will we be seeing an even better Brock Lesnar in the future? Because I'm sure you're going to be working on those things. Well, I don't know if I was I better tonight than I was a year ago. I, I mean, I, I would I would hope to think I am. You know, each win is you know you just you got to put it behind you and move forward, and we'll we'll train and, and we'll keep doing the right things, and you know. I'm a wrestler. I'm I'm a wrestler, you know. I'm the pretty bald, and and uh, you know. So it is it is it pretty remarkable that I've only got six fights and I'm the UFC heavyweight champion? Absolutely, it is. Um, but um, I've got a lot of room to grow. I'll be the first one to tell you. Moving forward, uh, you know, Dana mentioned that your next opponent is Cain Velasquez. Any your thoughts on a potential matchup with Cain Velasquez? And yeah, you know, by the way, that's Cain Velasquez. So really. Cool. <laughs> your thoughts on Kane as, a, as your next opponent? Um, we'll we'll uh, we'll talk about that when we get there.